Here we go. It's time for Dick Grayson of the Flying Graysons in the Conduit of the Dark Universe. So the backstory of Dick Grayson is still very similar. He was still a part of a circus. He was part of the Flying Graysons. The difference is that his circus was actually a cult and that cult was devoted to one particular goddess of destruction whom they've been distracting for centuries. Uh, he wears bells on his outfit and little tin cones and anything that makes noise. The whole point is that he is distracting her and because he is the most distractible member of his troop still remaining, all of her attention tends to be focused on him. This is very, very dangerous. However, uh, he considers it his mortal obligation, not moral, but mortal obligation to keep her distracted to boot so that they stop the end of the world from happening. One of the more eerie things about his outfit is even though it's designed to jingle and jangle and make noise when he walks, he can also walk completely silently even with all those bells on. It's just one of the small gifts that he gets as a priest of this war goddess. Um, everything else happens exactly the same. It's just Dick's a little different than he is in the main universe. Uh, he also... He can't really do magic per se, but when you're that favored by a god or goddess, uh, you do get certain miracles that happen in your favor. Anyways, this was an introduction to Batman Conduit of the Dark. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, shout out to my patrons for their continued support. Thank you so much.